guys welcome back to my channel this is Naja here with budgeting the bacon where I talk about how I save money earn money as well as us destroying our mortgage debt <music> today's video as you can see this is the I guess you could say like a close out close out or a recap of how I did for the month of March regarding apps and earning and just saving some extra money and whatever the case may be I will say what I did with a lot of the previous gift cards that I earned over the last couple of months since July of last year I went ahead and swapped them out for cash in my cash envelopes and so that way I was able to fund my March Madness money envelope for the challenge that we did for this month and I mean it was great. It really did help out a lot. I actually got a chance to see how much money I was basically leaving on the table with these gift cards that I have. So. That just lets me know that I need to be much more intentional with the gift cards that I earn and that I'm actually using them as well. Let's look at March and see how we did. A couple of these I'm like super close or I'm able to cash out right now but I just kind of chose not to right now because I want to let it build up just a little bit. So let's go ahead and start with T-Mobile. As always, T-Mobile is always providing us something every week for the T-Mobile Tuesdays. And so I pretty much redeem those each and every week. I don't let a week go by where I don't get something from them. So Fetch Rewards, I have 2,873 points, which is almost at the 3,000 points, which can get you a $3 gift card for a couple of places. However, I'm just going to go ahead and continue to save up to the 5,000, 10,000 mark. I don't do a lot of name brand shopping, so that is the reason why I don't earn as quick for this particular app, but it's okay. I still earn, all right? Shop Kicks, I have 829 points. I actually can get like a $2 gift card somewhere for either Target or Walmart, but I'm just going to continue to let that build up over the month of April and see where we get to. I'm like a little bit over, I'm over halfway marked for a $5 gift card right now. So Receipt Pal, I have 2,405 points. I can actually redeem for a $5 gift card, but I'm waiting because you can actually get a $10 gift card with 3,200 points. So instead of me like starting all over again, waiting for another 2,000 points after I cash this out, in order to get $5, I'm just going to wait a little bit and I should be able to get that in April as well. So for a coin of S'more, I cashed out for a $5 Walmart gift card and that's one of the ones that I used to swap with some cash from my cash envelopes this month. Coin out, I did, I was able to, after I scanned all my receipts for the month, I got back $2.79. Typically I don't cash out for an Amazon gift card, but there's something wrong with their, with the, not banking system, but you can redeem it to your bank or your PayPal. Normally I redeem it to my bank, but they're having some issues or whatever. So I just redeem it for an Amazon gift card. Slide Joy, I have enough for a $5 gift card. I've been trying to redeem this, but something is going on with my email account or whatever the case may be. I actually need to contact them because I want to get a $5 Bath & Body Works gift card which is gonna be put into my new envelope, which is self-care. And so for Ibotta, I have $5.80. Five Mile app, I have 1,678 coins. At 5,000 coins, you can go ahead and redeem for a gift card. And you may actually be able to do it now, but I just wait until five. So swag books. I put down five, but that is not true. I'm not quite there yet. I think I had like close to $3 last time I checked, but I'm going to wait on that 
Once I get to three dollars, I could get like another Dunkin' Donuts gift card. I already have one, and so that'll just add on to it. And so if me and the kids want some donuts or hot chocolate or just whatever that they have, just makes it really super easy. Receipt hog, I cashed out for five dollars in cash. For credit card reward points, I have 894 points, which which is like the equivalent of $8.94. Reimbursements, none this month. Coins, total, I have $24.39. And let me show you guys my jar. So you can see what we're working with here. So this is my coin jar right here. As you can see, I've got my little wrappers and stuff in here. So last month, we actually had, let's see, I'm going to put it over here. Last month, we had, after we rolled up $2, we ended up having, I had $11.62 in here before I started putting all the coins that I earned for March. And so now I have $24.39. That's a lot of change. I was doing a lot of purchasing this month. So yeah, I'm happy about that. We're almost at, at $25. For Etsy, I had a sale for $2.50, which I'm really grateful for. But I forgot that they have to take out their little fees and all that stuff so I think it ended up being like a dollar sixty-five or whatnot. I also applied that to the credit card debt that I had. eBay I didn't have any sales but then too I didn't upload anything on there. Found coins I started doing this and then I lost track of what I what I found last week and for Facebook marketplace I didn't list anything. Well actually I did list things on Facebook but I have not had any sales on there. I don't do really good with Facebook Marketplace for some reason. I don't know what it is. And I don't I don't like price anything super, super expensive or anything like that. And actually the items that I did put on there, they were all brand new. So, I don't know. I actually do better with eBay. So I think I'm just going to stick with them and not worry about having to try to meet someone or so much trying to haggle or negotiate with me well you can have that on ebay but it's just a whole different ball game with facebook marketplace anyway so that is what we are looking like for the month of march and even though it wasn't as much as i wanted i didn't put in all the work that i needed to in order to reap all of the rewards and benefits out of it but that's okay there's always April and I have a chance to do better, but I will say that I actually did really good with the savings challenge that we had. So I guess I could have put that in there as well, even though it wasn't an app. But the March Madness savings challenge, I was able to, for each week, for the whole month, save $90.62 total. So I feel like that was really, really good. That is this particular video and how I did for March. If you happen to like this video or any of the content that I have on my channel, please feel free to go ahead and give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit that all notification bell so that you don't miss any type of upload as well as leave me a comment below. You know, what side hustles do you do? Do you have any side hustles? Are you making extra money outside of your nine to five job or whatever the case may be? Um, and yeah, also I wanted to say that if you are interested in any of these apps right here that I show, I do have each one of them listed in my description box. You can feel free to look at them or you can also email me. My email is in the description box, description box as well. I will see you all and talk with you all in my next video. Bye!